and today we're going to talk about water habitats. Let's go down to the creek. A habitat is a place where a plant or animal lives. Ecosystems can vary in size. They can be as little as a puddle or as big as the earth itself. This water habitat is one of the smaller kinds that doesn't allow many creatures to live in. One creature that lives in this water habitat is a frog. It can be tree frogs, bullfrogs, or toads. The type of frog shown in this picture is a tree frog. These frogs are mostly in the water in spring and summer. There are usually many tree frogs in this water habitat. is water centipedes. They are usually found under large rocks. In this picture, there is a water centipede. If the creek doesn't dry out, the water centipedes are in the water year-round. They can be as long as six inches. The way you find a water centipede is looking under a rock carefully in a pond or a creek. Let's see if we can find one. Hmm, I wonder... No. 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 Oh, no. try that one. Hmm. Oh, there oh, it is! Wow. We found one! If you can see, if you can see, we have found a water centipede. Another creature that lives in the creek is a mayfly nymph. In this picture, there is one of the mayfly nymphs. The mayfly nymph eats algae, and the, nymph, and the nymph usually lives under rocks. Now we are going to talk about the types of plants that live in a creek. One type of plant that lives in the creek is moss. Moss usually grows on the rocks in the creek water. Some insects use moss as their home. Another plant in this creek water is algae. Some frogs use algae as home to their egg sacs. Mayfly nymphs eat the algae in the creek water. There are some extra details about some creeks. In some creeks, there are creatures that lay egg sacs. In the middle of this picture, it looks like a squishy heart, but it is really a frog's egg sac. Here's another frog's egg sac. Frogs are the main creatures that lay egg sacs in the creek. There are also many different layers of mud in the creek. In this picture shown, the ground drops from different levels. Now we are going to do an experiment. We took a water sample from the creek and a water sample from some drinking water. As you can see, the creek water isn't as clean as the drinking water. The creek water has different types of dirt and sediment in the sample. The drinking water was clean so that we can drink the water unlike we can for the creek water. Now we are going to talk about water pollution. In this picture, there is oil in the water causing the water to be polluted. In this picture, you can see a good example of water pollution. You can see old tires and boxes just dumped into a creek. These days, pollutants are constantly finding ways into our water. Creek water pollutants are affect the creatures and plants inside or around the creek. Some of the most common water pollutants are pesticides and herbicides. These are used on farms. Chemicals used in agriculture are carried by rain into creeks and other resor water resources. Heavy metals such as lead and mercury can cause serious health problems in elevated levels. Plants that grow in the ground are different from moss and algae. Plants that grow in and around creeks are usually green and healthy. An example of a plant that grows in this water habitat is grass. Grass is home to many different types of insects around and in creeks. Here is a leafy plant whose roots are in the sill at the bottom of the creek. The plant stem is growing up through the water. Not all of the plants look or grow like this.
teaching to learn about water habitats, and we hope you learn something from this experience. Is a tree frog. It didn't even start. The frog showed us this picture. <laughs>